Hello and welcome back. I'm standing here in Fairfield, New Jersey at the Electrify America charging station. Just plugged in a 2020 BMW i3s with range extender. We're going to do a 0 to 80 percent charging test. Well, not exactly zero because with the range extender, it turns on at 6 percent state of charge, so it won't let you deplete the battery lower than that. So we're actually going to do a 6 to 80 percent charging session here and see how long it takes. We'll take a look at the charging curve, see how good that is. Now BMW uh, say, states that the uh, 2020 BMW i3 will go from 0 to 80 percent charged on a 50 kilowatt or greater DC fast charge station in 40 minutes. It has a maximum charge rate of 50 kilowatts, so we're going to see just how well it does. Now the maximum charge rate isn't doesn't tell the whole story. It also really depends on how long the vehicle maintains that maximum charge rate. Some EVs do it really well and hold it all the way up to 80%, some only for 5, 10, 20% and then start ramping down. We're going to take a look and see how the BMW i3s does. Now the the 2020 BMW i3 has a 42.2 kilowatt hour battery pack. Of that Eight, uh, 38 kilowatt hours is usable. Now that's more than when BMW first made this car in 2014. It originally had a 21.6 kilowatt hour battery pack. In 2017, they increased it to 33.2 kilowatt hours. And now in 2000 and, uh, 2019, they increased it to 42.2 as this vehicle has. So we're gonna take a look recording the whole session, see how the car charges, see if it lives up to BMW's uh, promises that it'll charge to 80% in 40 minutes. Now this car should take a little less because we started at 6%, but we'll see. Um, we're recording the whole session. We're going to analyze it, talk about it next. Uh, but before we cut out and jump to the charging session, I want to remind our people here that if you like this channel, please click the subscribe button below and you'll be able to see our charging session videos, our EV range test videos, and coming soon we're going to be doing a lot of home charging station reviews. So if you want to, if you don't want to miss any of that content, please click the subscribe button below. Thanks. Okay, we see the battery starts out at 6% state of charge and immediately jumps to 42 kilowatts. Uh, the station estimates that it's going to take 38 minutes to finish the charge. By 10% state of charge, we're already up to 43 kilowatts. And then it holds 43 kilowatts till we're at about 25% state of charge and the charge rate jumps up one more kilowatt to 44 kilowatts. Now between 25 and 50%, it bounces between 44 and 45 kilowatts, but it doesn't hold a steady 45 kilowatts till the battery's at 50% state of charge. Then about five minutes later, when we're at 60% state of charge, the car jumps up to 46 kilowatts. Again, four or five minutes later, when we're at 70% state of charge, it now reaches a steady 47 kilowatts. Finally, just before the charging station shuts off at 80%, the charge rate climbs to 48 kilowatts and ends there. Not bad, so we had a steady uh, climb from 42 to 48 kilowatts while the car was charging between 6% state of charge and 80% state of charge. We see that it took in, it took 39, 39 minutes and 58 seconds to finish this charging session. Now that beats BMW's 40 minute promise by two seconds, so they're not lying. However, that promise of zero to uh, 80 percent in 40 minutes is for the Bev i3. Now this is the range extender so we actually only took in about uh, 74 percent charge because we started at six percent charge so you would think it would finish a little bit earlier. However we charged this early in the morning and overnight it sat outside the temperatures were around 50 degrees Fahrenheit not really cold but cold enough to make the battery just a little too cool to accept the full charge rate. That's why you see it was accepting 42 kilowatts when we plugged in and it slowly climbed up to 48 just before 80%. Still, that's a great charging curve. It didn't decrease at all. Many EVs we see after 50, 60% state of charge, some even earlier, they start ramping down and slowing down their charging rate. The i3 is going 
full on, even increasing its rate all the way to the 80% state of charge rate. That's really good. That's what we like to see, a nice um, steady climb or it hold the maximum charging rate. Now, now you can say, well, the i3 only accepts 50 kilowatts. A lot of these other newer EVs accept higher. And you'd be right to say that. Um, the i3 kind of um, as a legacy EV for BMW. It doesn't really have a future more than another year or two. But future BMW electric cars will all charge at well more than 100 kilowatts. The i the uh, iX3, which is coming out um, right now, I think is actually when it's launching, can accept 150 kilowatts. So that's three times more power than what the i3 can accept. Um, so uh, we took in 29 kilowatt hour and total cost of $9.59. Now here in New Jersey is one of the states where Electrify America has transitioned to kilowatt hour based pricing. So we paid the 31 cents per kilowatt hour. There was 60% sales tax, thanks a lot New Jersey. And that added the total to $9.59. Not really inexpensive, but not bad for an 80% state of charge. You have to expect to pay more for public DC fast charge. You're paying for the infrastructure, the, the uh, the networks pay a lot on demand charges. So, you know, that's a convenience to use these DC fast chargers. So you're going to pay more than what you pay at home. Okay, well, that's it for the 2020 BMW i3S DC fast charge report. Don't forget to click the subscribe button below and we'll see you next time.